What's up guys, Gary7 here and welcome to episode 18 of our City Skylines Let's Play series here on Devon Valley. So, if you look at the number of citizens, we're 79,729 currently. So we're going to hit 80,000 really soon. Um, and when we do that, we're going to... Let's have a quick look at the milestone before we get it. Uh, yeah, so when we unlock this one, we'll unlock the monuments and the international airport. So the last time we unlocked planes and the standard airport. Um, but yeah, we'll unlock the international airport, which would be pretty cool. I was thinking, if we unpause it now, wait until, once we've hit that, we'll get the, probably the international airport. I was thinking we could put it up on this bit here. So you can have that as like a takeoff bit. I think that might look quite nice. We've got demand now for residents, so we'll get some of that in. Um, we don't have anything else zoned up. So yeah, we'll get residency around there. I think that will look quite nice, having low density around here. I've also got an idea for the low density um, down around this area here, a complete new style that we've not used before. Um, something that I've just been thinking of, I thought would look really nice. Um, it'll be a lot smaller houses, so rather than having like full blocks like we've got now, it'll it'll be different basically. Um, I'll show it off when I when I build it. Obviously, I'm trying to get that straight. That's about right, and then we'll go one from the centre there. We can then add some parks in here. Let's get the land value up, let's get people in here let's get people happy and then once they're happy and built up here we're going to end up with lots of people hopefully um, and we'll get a dog park in one either side, you never know people can be fussy um, one of these would look nice around here, again we'll put that one there a bouncy castle could go well over there with a f one of these ah, come on, get it in place um, there we go. Uh, small playground. We could put that over opposite the dog park, and then we'll get more residential zones in throughout the park area. Uh, I think that will look quite nice, like so. Come on, give me that spawn space, please. Like that, perfect. Once this zones in, that will get power. We could even add some more low density shopping around there. I don't want to do the entire of that, so let's get the small select tool and we'll go up to about there. I need to delete those final two. But yeah, once we get that high density, the high density, once we get the um, airport, I think this might be a nice spot for it depending on the size of it. What's it? I've got fires going on, we've got death, people dying. So we'll actually check our death care up in this section. I think we did this a while ago, yes, we've already got a cemetery in that, this is all covered. Um, they're covered everywhere pretty well around the whole of the city crematoriums we've got plenty of them dotted about as well we could do some elder care maybe right opposite right beside the school opposite the big park in fact, there's nothing built in here we could maybe do that one or maybe right on the edge of the hill right in the centre there that would work quite nicely for the old people they can look down then over the city and into that zone. We've got then the Child Health Centre. I think that's what it was called. I might be reading that wrong, but similar to what it was anyway. That'll go there. That'll cover up quite a lot. In fact, nope. we can put that right by these parks. That'll cover a lot of that zone. We've got people leaving because there's not enough people in there at the moment, but again, they will come. If you build it, they will come. We've got medical centres and everything dotted everywhere, so we're all good for that. It's now just waiting on it. There is 80,000 people. We should have hit that monument. I don't know why it's not come up yet. As soon as it comes up on screen. There it is, guys. 80,000 people now live in our megalopolis. I'm well happy with that. I think that's amazing that we've hit that. We've now, like I said, got the International Airport monument and another square. We have 80,000 residents, guys. It's taken us 18 episodes to get here. I'm going to pause the game and we're going to have a quick look at our city and what we've done so far. So those of you who have been here from the start will know all this, but if you not, this is our first square that we got and we started off zoning here. We did literally probably about that much. We got our residents in and we had industry over here, but we've got rid of the dirty industry now as we didn't or I didn't like the pollution. We then added our farming zone. I think that was probably the next episode. And yeah, that's going pretty well. Now we've got some parks around here now to just try and help with that. I think next we would have continued on expanding over here. Um, but then we've got our new zones now. Our free trees area, as we call this, way up. Yeah, our free trees area. So, three separate residential districts. 
but all with tree names. We've got Sycamore Park, and let's double check this Oak Square, Beechwood Park, and Sycamore Park. I was correct. Then we built over here, I think. Um, this is our Mill Park area. Again, this is our first ever train station passenger train service that we put in, and that is doing really well. Our whole town is literally running really, really well now with public transport. We've got our prison there. Then we built another little district over here and this is our lakeside muse again and we've got the zoos the panda enclosure and a temple over here and then we've got an overground metro station our first overground metro all the rest of the metro is obviously underground but we added that because we thought well i thought that looked quite nice to have something different and you can see it goes down underground um, and then again we've got another connection to the highway from that then we built across to this district where we built this first of our high density residence or residency and high density shopping and offices we've then ex continued to expand that with you know bigger fire services helicopters fire services heli police and everything like that then we built our downtown which is this massive area here this is one of our major undertakings and i'm really happy with how that's turned out so far then we built up the back here with our willow square and Fairview Heights and we unlocked the IT class at the same time which we managed to get for free with the Green Cities DLC which came for free um, we then also did this bit here I'm not sure if this I think that's actually Fairview Heights continued so that was pretty cool then we built this shopping and this Garnet Heights in the last two episodes with the end of line railway station and yeah that's where we are now guys 80,000 residents and we're going to get this airport put in now so what we need to do is we need to check the pricing and the height of this airport. So it's oh, it's not even that much really, quarter of a million, but it is absolutely massive. We'd have to get rid of, let's see if we can rotate it a bit. We'd have to get rid of probably a lot of stuff to get it there. I'm not sure if it would work. Yeah, we can get rid of just power lines probably, but would people complain of the noise? Uh, probably, yeah. The only other option would be to buy land. We do have another square, so let's have a look where the area is. We've got any... I was thinking of buying that one. We could then maybe actually do the airport off the highway. That could work, keeping it away from the high-density areas. Um, and we can do a big train loop then connecting that up. So I think we'll buy this square now. 32 grand. Get more expensive, but it's worth it. We get the railway link and everything there, so that's absolutely fine. So, yeah, we've got this now. And now we'll have a look at the airport again. So we could either have it right by... Oh, we'll have to straighten this up and move some bits about, but we can definitely sort that out here. We can move the train lines down a bit. I reckon right here would work. We could even have it... Yeah, we can sort something out here for definite for this. So let's pause this. Let's, first of all, just demolish this train line, because we know we're going to have to. Uh, come on. We'll go probably up to the highway. And then we could even move it around to the back a little bit further. Right, so we've taken it back to here and now we're going to build our new train line connecting up. So we're going to start with a nice curve, nothing too major, but keep it long so it's more stable for the trains. We'll have a double check on that line there. It looks quite nice, works quite well. That's definitely nice and shallow, you know, the train should be able to go around here relatively easily. Got a nice distance between the underground and that as well, so that's absolutely perfect next thing we need to do is connect it up to here or that one so if we connect up to about I think that's going to be about in line maybe not that's in line there so we go across maybe back a couple of squares and then we will connect that in again it's still too big hmm let's think just continue that up like that gentle curve I think that will work and then we can connect that to that that's going to be way too sharp a turn so we can then take off a node, take it off there, we'll go one, two, and then we can curve that gently there. That should work. Bit of an S, but it should work quite nicely, that. The only other issue is because we don't own this next square, we're going to have to do a really awkward junction here. Um, so we're going to have to come up at quite... A, I don't want to do too big an angle, but I'd need to be able to get our airport in. And for me that's more important than having you know this train line perfect over this side because we're not going to be using it then we can come up to there 
um, I reckon there's about straight get a nice straight collection up and then run it right up to that line that works nicely yes it is quite sharp yeah it's not the best but because we don't own the square and we can't you know sort that line out coming up to like here for example and then connecting in that's the best we can do so now that's all connected up we need to probably level this terrain um, let's go to the leveling tool so I'm going to choose this option here and then we're going to level it up just the back here I don't want to do too much but I want to make sure we can get it in around this area we can bring it back towards here like so and it doesn't need to be too drastic but it needs to be enough to get the airport in I don't want to go too close to the water because I've actually just noticed like we've got a nice little inlet here which isn't too major but we could actually possibly put some of the stuff down here that we wanted to um, in the last episode I was looking at trying to get some bits and bobs by the water we'd never had enough space for it so we could even have this not butted right up against it but pretty close to the railway line they can fly up and over that so that is going to go right there boom I'm not too sure where the roads are for this I'm going to guess right at the loom in front so we need to actually change this around if we can um, it's not going to let us do it is it uh, slope is too steep well we'll leave it like that and we can just build the road around the front because in that fact we can connect a road this one here we probably connect underneath going somewhere and this one here will go around the here across the front here we're not going to use that same junction because that's going to become absolutely packed we'll probably put a new intersection here as well um, I do want to start trying to build a nice intersection at some point but for now I think we're going to put this one in place so we'll end up deleting that to about there I think it was so we'll get this done now and then I'll be back in a second with that built OK guys, so what we've got so far is the airport in place here. We've got one road that goes underground, I'll show you that one in a second. And then we've got this one here that goes out to a roundabout, connecting to the cloverleaf onto the highway, which I'm going to change up these highways at some point to something a lot better. But they are working for now. Uh, then we've got that road coming off, which I've got a plan for that in a second, which I'll tell you about. But then it goes on to this main roundabout up here, which then connects you up to the Oak Square, Beechwood Park, Sycamore Park, Free Trees District area, and obviously Birch Park Farm and the lower districts down there so what I was thinking the first thing I want to do is come back over here you can see we've got a single one of these road with bicycle lane I want to come out but I do want to go underground like we're showing then but not straight away so what we need to do is come out a little bit further then we need to start heading underground when it's like that that's perfect we've got to be careful because that is um, metro so I'm going to go down another node and we can get away with going down as far as we want it's underground nobody's going to really notice it other than us so again these roads don't have to be perfect they're underground I just want them to go under to here we can actually go at an angle to about there I think would work then we need to get a curve now this is what's going to be difficult I need to get it to curve around quite hang on, not too sharp but sharp enough that we need to go a bit further tell a lie, come up to go straight right on please and on. we need to come out and up probably about there get a curve this time we can curve it right it's not all the way but near enough all the way around uh, that should be in line with that road then we'll come up go back down get that like so next to there so this is going to give them straight access then to the train station I'm hoping this isn't going to get too busy if it does then we're going to disconnect this loop but this is just going to test out this loop for now so they've got an access into this bit and they can get across however they want to whatever district now this road here is going underground and what I want to do with that is a two-way highway once it's underneath which is that one two lane where's the two ways that one there two-way highway so we're going underground I'm going to connect it up. We're going to go down another node just to make sure we are lower than any of our existing stuff. And then zoom right out. We need to get across here. Like so. That works. 
we can come up. I want to basically get it connected up to the highway. So I was thinking we could use the bottom of this roundabout over in the new district. Something like that. Um, again, because these roads are underground, I'm not too worried about what they look like. Um, you can tell me if you think that's okay or not in the comments, but I think when they're underground, you're not going to notice it. Um, the only people that are going to notice it is me when I'm on this screen, and you guys, if you are looking out for it, um, really. And then once it's under the highway connection there, I think once they're over to this part, we can go back down to a two lane, just a standard road. I'm going to come to about here and then up into that there. These junctions might be a little bit close together. But again, we're going to see if this gets used much. I highly doubt it will. Um, people are going to use all the other roads. But we could always move this junction into here or something, but we'll, we'll test it out for now. So that gives them a connection to the airport as well. But I did read as well, it's got a metro line. So we're also going to have to add a whole new metro system. So it's got access here and this side. So our closest metro line is over here. We could make a stop. I want to do a stop for definite around this type of area. We've got this hub here that's got literally nothing connected to it. So let's drag a line all the way across. Can we do it? Space already. There's, there's a green bit just now. So hang on, we're going to do this. I'm going to cheat it. Hang on, come on. There we go. If that's the way they want it, it to be, I'm going to have to delete this, I know, which is a bit of a, a pain in the ass, but it'll work. Then we're going to ignore that one. Going to connect that one. Going to keep that relatively straight, so let's get it to 180. Uh, no, we need to connect it up to here, don't we? Let's connect it to about here. I'm going to then get a curve. That is not what we wanted. This is going to be the only issue is connecting this bit up. But, you know, we'll do this together. Let's connect that one. So this line here, we, let's go that one, that one. Let's connect from here. So we're going to connect onto this one. Going to connect, I reckon to about there. Gonna delete that one, that one, that one. I know it's a lot of faffing at the moment for you guys to watch, but I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. Get a nice straight line. Boom, that'll work. Does that no it does not work because they're not even connected. There we go, that'll work. So that'll connect straight from the international airport I can pause the game a second now to our main hub over here I've not created a line yet but that's fine we can do that in a second uh, this needs water and power obviously every time let's get some water is that connecting up now just power and power wise we can probably just put a turbine relatively close there is one near it anyway but We'll just run. Oh, no, actually, I'm not doing that because that would look absolutely ridiculous if we. No, because that's not. That's actually fine. Sorry. Let's run it like that. I was thinking, first of all, that this would be the uh, highways, but it's, that's the uh, runways. So that will work fine. Um, we need to now do a line for the metro that we put underneath. So we'll go from here, literally, a straightforward loop. It's going to add to that line there and then back across to the airport. So, yeah, this is the airport to downtown loop. Currently got four vehicles on it. I'm going to leave it because I reckon we will get the people using it. Um, it's just going to take time for the airport to develop. Let's have a look, make sure it's all connected up. Yep, all working, costing us money, so that's good. I'm going to get a couple of low density shops just around here because. There's always stuff like that at the shops. I'm not going to have that one though. A couple of shops just at the front there. We could put a train line, maybe here, 
Um, let me know what you guys think to that. Possibly adding a train line to connect up to our hub over here. Not even to the hub, but just to this section. And then they can get from there. But if they've got the metro and airport, I think then you've got the option for everything else. Yeah, what else I noticed is we've got some different stuff from the Green Cities DLC that I haven't noticed before. So we've got residential specialisation. Then we've actually got this here, which is our organic and local produce. So I've just made a new area down here called Middle Heights. We're going to put that as that speciality. So it's going to be organic and local produce on the shops, I believe. Um, I've got low density shopping in here. I've not done any here, but I think you know that would look quite nice, like so. Um, we do have some more demand for commercial, so we could get a little bit, or not commercial, sorry, industrial, a little bit more office space around there. This is all going to end up becoming like shopping, uh, shopping and office zone. We might get a little tiny bit of residency down here, but I think we're mostly going to keep to that. So yeah, that's building in now already. And we can see now we've got loads of different shops, more like farmer market style thing, healthy weeds, you know, healthy eating and all this type of thing, so that's quite cool. Uh, the airport is now connected up. Again, it is quite saying it needs water, or oh, the shops need water, so we need to make sure we've got water spread all the way around to there. And then I'm going to go down a bit further just to make sure in case any of them build in. So, down here, we're just going to have a few little shops. I'm not even sure if we'll need these, we might end up getting rid of them in time. We'll see what that's like for now. I want to as well talk about zoning, or not zoning, but like footpaths and things. They are really good. Um, make sure you use footpaths and not bicycle lanes, bicycle lanes don't work at all but also have bits cutting around like so so in the middle of the zones because otherwise there's no point using the back section if you can just walk that route there but somebody could be walking along here and decide actually I want to cut over to that side and vice versa so always make sure you've got options you know to go from one side to the other and then across different parts, I'm going to put it up on that lower one it just enables people to get around the zone quite nicely so because somebody's already built at the end we'll do that you know that gives them the option there something different we could probably get a couple parks down here let's have a look park wise um we'll do a small park again we've got some up the top but nothing down the end here these will work quite well with the local produce section again our good old faithful dog park always gets put in it is good it does actually does the job that it needs to but yeah we've got all these little stores now local produce being sold you can see we've got fruit and veg let's have a look we'll walk down here so yeah we've got fruit and veg store it's pretty cool fire hygiene all over the place um, and yeah it's just nice different healthy weeds again different places different shops different zoning I think it looks quite nice to have something different but yeah, this episode we've got more residents in. We hit the milestone, 82,000 right now. We got our airport in. There's our first plane. Let's watch that one go off. Could he take any sharper of a turn? There we go, nice. We'll have a look to see if we've had any tourists. Still nothing, but you know, we can hope for more. There we go, there's the plane taking off and going up. We now unlock the monuments, so these all cost quite a lot of money over a, like a million each and stuff like that but to get these we need to put in certain zoning oh, what's this actually luxury hotel this is the top of the line five star hotel with all of the services and comforts you can ask for a luxury hotel provides pleasant accommodation for everybody from the common tourist to occasional celebrities I'm going to put that in and I'm going to put that in up in our district I want it down in nearer this area the main hub um, but it's so big I think we could get away with putting it up on the hill by the IT cluster that looks cool so they've got an overlook then of all the big areas and they've got connections then from the main hub down here could probably end up putting a tram line right outside of it a metro line even sorry but as I was saying we need to get all of this lot in I'm pretty sure the requirement for building the colliders and stuff like that so we need to unlock this um, I'm not too sure how to unlock it. Oh, fill three instances of cemetery. So we've got to do that. Average citizen health under 20%. So that's an issue. Um, 10,000 squares of industrial zoning built. So we need to get our industrial zoning up. 
and then what's this last one? 5,000 squares of self-sufficient building. So we're going to hopefully get that in the next episode. Um, again, we've got all different ones to unlock. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you are new, please do drop a sub and a follow. And we'll be back again tomorrow with some more City Skyline. Thanks for everybody. Bye-bye.